Hello students. Today we discuss with our second chapter that is a conceptual design. We continue with our with the ER model. We discuss the components of a ER model. Then entities, types of entities and the difference between the entities that we have to discuss in a today's lecture. The, in the conceptual design using the ER data model, ER data model, which is a type of object-oriented data models. In object-oriented data models, the focus is on object. So the same concepts that are used in an ER data model. ER data model is considered as a conceptual diagram, which is used for representing the database structure and the components of the database. The ER models is in a DBMS that contains the entities, attributes, and relationships, which is similar to the table, rows, and columns in a, just like the relational database. The ER models in the DBMS, just like the blueprint, for designing the database structure. ER model is considered the high level model for representing the data. The complex data structure can be easily represented in the form of entity relationships model. The components of a ER diagrams are entities, relationships, attributes, entity sets, and relationship sets. These are the components of a ER diagram. Now we discuss these components in very detail. Today's, in the today's lecture, we discuss the entities. Entities is the most important part in an ER model. Entities are, is a real world object. Is a real world object means the database which is developed by the developer, which are develops according to the problem definitions, according to the customer's requirements. The, in a customer's requirement, the role of those, those things that, th that things are fact and according to that, on that fact, the database was, database develops that facts, that real world, that facts are known as the real world objects that are the entities. For example, in a, in a college admin, admissions process, the main objects are the students, then the college, administrator, principals that are the that are the real world objects and it is known as an entity. Each entity has its own properties. Own properties means the things that are described, the things that are described by their features, for example, students, students are described by the student number, student name, student address, phone number, other number, so that each entity has their own properties. So they can identify them easily. These objects are differentiated from the other objects. For example, the peoples, in the people, the particular peoples or the so particular objects, particular people are differentiated from the other objects. For example, students, student one is identified and that are differentiated from the other objects. An entity can be represented by the rectangles. For example, 
consider the college management system in which entities are the students, teachers, administrator, department, course, subjects. So they are the real world object and it is known as the entity. That entities, students, teacher, administrator, department, they have their own properties. For example, department. Department has the name. So departments are identify their name. They are distinguished from the other objects by using the, the properties, the name. These are the examples of a college management system and these are the entities in a college management system. In our example, student, teachers, admin are exist physically in a real world where the course, subjects are exist only the logically. They don't have the physical existence. So according to that, uh, these are the tangible and intangible entity. They have the physical existence in a real world. For example, student, teachers, admin persons. They are physically present, so they are the physical in a real world, whereas course subjects are exist, but they are exist only in the logically. They don't have any physical existence. These above entities are represented in a year model as college, department, student, teacher, course. These all of these are the entities and they are represented in a rectangle in a ER model. This year some of the uh, entities which are present physically but the sum of the entities which are present, but they are present in a logically, in a virtual manner, so that all the types of they are comes in a entities. For example, if we have a table of students, in a table of the student, roll number, student name, age, mobile number, these are the properties. These are the properties of a student. Then each student in a table is an entity and can be uniquely identify their role numbers. So the student in a student table, role number two and the student name, then the age and their mobile number, all these records are known as an entity and they are classified from the other students. By each entity have their own properties that are roll number, student name, age and the mobile number. You can observe the tables in this table. The roll number one which is unique they are not repeated but sometimes student names are the repeated. The age also sometimes it is repeated. But they are identified by according to the roll number. So that are the entities. The entities which are the real words of it. They have their own properties. Own properties means they can describe. They can describe. How can how can they describe in this example? Students are described by using the roll number, by using their name, by using their age, and by using the mobile number. So that record is a entity. There are the two types of the entity. One is a strong entity, and second one is a weak entity. The strong entities are those entity types which has the key attributes. Key attributes means sometimes students name are repeated. For example, roll number one which has the name 
anil and roll number 2 which has also the name anil then that the names are repeated but the roll numbers they does not repeat they remains the unique they remains the unique so that types of the attributes so that types of the properties are the key attributes now here the primary key helps in identifying the each entity is a uniquely in the above students table roll number identifies the each elements of the table uniquely and hence we can say that student is a strong entity type example of a strong entity in this student is the entity type and the roll number are the primary key and these are not repeated so that types of types of the entity are known as the strong entity which has the attribute which has the property that property describes the whole entity that property describes the whole entity so that types of the entity is known as a strong entity a weak entity an entity said may not have a sufficient attributes to form a primary key entity set is termed as a weak entity set these types of the entities are dependent on a strong entity for a primary key it cannot exist without a relationships with another entity weak entity is represented by a double rectangle for example in the course student course that course are not a course does not have any strong attributes to describe the course that does not have any primary key sometimes course for the bsc computer science course name course name is the same that the same course which is available for the bca also so that types of the entities which does not have the key attributes to differentiate from the other entities so that types of the entities are the weak entities and weak entities are represented by using the, the double rectangles this is a some example where customer have the address here customers customers have the different types of the properties that properties is known as a attributes that customers are identify the customer id because this customer id is a key attribute because that id is not repeated other number which are the unique these are not repeated so that the persons are identify that the aadhar number the customers identify by their mobile number by their age by their name and by their gender so that types of the attributes which has the sufficient that types of the entities which has the sufficient attributes to identify from the other uh, entities so that type of the entity is a strong entity and here customer is a strong entity the customer has a address where address which has the town locality and the state in a same state there are the same names of the town same names of the locality so that address are not identify particularly because these are the repeated so that type so that does not forms any key attributes which are identify the particular address so that types of the entities are the weak entities now we discuss the differences between the strong entities sorry entity set entity set is a collections of entities of the same entity types in the above example student entity type is a collections of entities from the student 
entity type will form the entity set. We can we can say that entity type is the superset of the entity set as all the entities are included in the entity like types. For example, in a so above example uh, in the this table student the entity one and entity two which are collected then forms the entity set E1 and E2. The entity sets are the collections of the same entities that forms the entity set. Now we discuss the comparison between the strong entities and the weak entity. A strong entity always has a primary key while weak entity has a partially discriminator key. Partial discriminator key means they does not have, they have the key properties but that properties does not the same these properties are the repeated. So that types of the entities are the weak entities whereas strong entities have the always the primary key. Primary key means there is a one of the property which is the unique, which is not uh, repeated. So that type is known as the strong entity with the primary key. Then second, strong entity is not dependent of any other entity. Weak entity is depends on a strong entity. Strong entity is represented by the single rectangle. Weak entity is represented by the double rectangle. True strong entities relationships is represented by the single diamond while the relationships between one strong and one weak entity is represented by the double diamonds. Strong entity have either total participations or not while weak entity always has a total participation. So then the total participations and partial participation that we have to discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.